If you're like a lot of us, your practice swing looks great. Shot looks like crap. Your range game looks great. Your course game looks much the same. So let's fix it. I'm going to do it with this piece of foam noodle. Okay, I'm Mike Metz. Let's get going. If you like this video, like and subscribe so you can get more of the same content. Okay, now listen, the way I did this is I took a foam noodle and I cut a section out. The section that I cut out has a hole in it. The reason it has a hole in it is because I'm going to put an alignment rod inside. Now I can do this on the range with a bucket or I can do it with my rod assistant. Today I'm, I'm going to use my rod assistant to show you what I want to do. So here I have my alignment rod assistant, the alignment rod, the piece of foam noodle on the end. And what I'm doing here is hiding the ball underneath the foam noodle. The reason I'm going to hide it and hit it is because I'm trying to give myself the same practice swing I would when there isn't a ball there. And the only way for me to do that is to make sure that I don't have a ball making me think about impact. A lot of you guys will take a great practice swing because there is no issue with the ball there. It's like taking, a, if I put you in a dark room and I, <laughs> I had you hit a hammer on a piece of wood, it's not a problem. The minute, uh, besides looking ridiculous, the minute I put a nail in there and tapped it and got it started for you, flipped the lights on, you'd be very specific, very intent on how to hit that. You wouldn't take any wild swings anymore. And I'm not suggesting that this is wild, but what I am suggesting is that when you swing, to hit it smooth, you have to make sure you are not thinking about impact, you're only thinking about swing. So we'll set up, we'll bring the club in, we'll make sure that we can see the ball and that it's covered by the foam noodle. Once you set in, you validated that you have enough room to hit. 